I am about to attempt some sail repair on Genoa or specifically on the sacrificial cover that's on the Genoa so it's not as much of a big deal but I figure it should be fixed so we don't get sun damage on the sail um, the main problem is there's these tears going horizontally across the strip and also in some areas like down here it's kind of tearing along where the seam is so in these areas I'm going to just stitch it up and then here I'm going to use some sail repair tape and stitch around the edge of that just in case it comes loose really this strip should be replaced but I'm broke right now so <laughs> for now I'm just going to patch it Well, don't look too closely at my stitching because it's terrible, especially this bit here. I'm just gonna hide that. But I guess it's an improvement over having a big tear. Looks okay anyway. Well, it ended up being a little bit of a battle to get that sail cover repaired. It wasn't the sewing machine's fault, it was my fault. <laughs> it had been quite a long time since I last used the sewing machine and so I'd kind of forgotten how it all worked and I managed to thread it wrong a whole bunch of times. I, I basically did everything wrong you could imagine, you know, forgetting to put the presser foot down or winding the bobbin wrong or just just everything. And <laughs> kept jamming it up and getting into a tangled mess but finally I did manage to get it done. deck <laughs> we're off to flat home we hope <laughs> <laughs> on a successful entry into the lock.
we didn't quite make it around the island because we needed to have that because of the tides but we got pretty close got a good look through the binoculars completely lost the wind so we've had to put the motor on we're also fighting a bit of a current so we are moving very slowly back towards Cardiff as you can see on the horizon there We're back at the marina after a long day of sailing and motoring. <laughs> we had a little blip coming back into the lock. It was the same lock where our old diesel engine broke down about a year ago and the motor <laughs> also decided not to start which is really really unusual. It always starts um, but it turned out it's just a little fuse box thing that hadn't been mounted very well and it kind of came dislodged and Jonathan just popped that back into place and it started right up so in the end it only took a couple of minutes to find and fix the problem unlike last time when the engine wouldn't start at all and we had to be towed out of the lock so that was definitely an improvement um anyway yeah in good spirits even though it was a very long day with having to motor a lot more than we expected but we're just glad that the motor did hold up because we weren't sure how much battery life we would have but by going pretty slow we were able to fight the current and still have enough battery to pretty much motor almost the entire way back from the island so that was good I have yet another sewing project to do I am going to be making some curtains which should be a hell of a lot easier <laughs> than repairing that sail because they're a lot smaller this is our current curtain arrangement. <laughs> it's just a bit of fabric that's draped over the top of these fairy lights which are starting to sag under the weight of it. <laughs> so not an ideal solution. There were actually some curtains that came with the boat but they were so hideous that we immediately took them down and we haven't had any ever since. Basically what I did is I bought this fabric on eBay. This is just a full size curtain from a house. <laughs> A thermal curtain so I'm hoping it will keep the heat in in winter and stop it all from escaping through the port lights. Um, it's also a blackout curtain so it should do a decent job of keeping light out as well so I'm just gonna cut this up into the appropriate size bits and then sew it. Just measuring out the fabric using a set square to make sure I don't end up with wonky curtains. Nobody wants wonky curtains. We kept the curtain rods from our old ugly curtains. They're kind of crazily long, but I guess they'll work. 
I realised that I made a bit of a rookie error. I forgot to leave <laughs> extra fabric for the seams, but they don't need to be very big. Like I can just fold it over a little bit, so it hopefully won't be too much of a big deal. But yeah, I just need to make sure it's enough that I can thread this through. So to about here. So I've just pinned along this hem, and then I'm gonna sew. Cutting is a little bit shorter than would be ideal because of that mistake I made with not allowing enough for the hem. So what I think I might do is use this one in the heads where I think the window is just slightly smaller and it's also just a lot less obvious and I'll make a new one for all of these pot lights. Well I have a functional curtain. I had to put some pins in because Trying to put it over these screws just wasn't working very well. But yeah, this one is a much better size. I'm pretty happy with it. Draw it, blocks up the light pretty well. I have four curtains. Yay! This last one I somehow managed to stitch on the wrong side. The whole thing, I, I stitched the hem on the wrong side the first time around. I had to unpick the entire thing, I don't know how I managed that.